Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm getting straight into it. I have an idea in my head that I'd like to give it a go. Um, something that's nice and bright and cheerful, which we all need in these times for sure. So I'm just going to layer my colours and let you watch and I will jump in um, when I need to let you listen to some nice music so this is a very bright yellow so I'm using some citrusy colors as well as others So on goes the orange and I think I'm going to add a red to that and my berry delicious. This is kind of like um, emeraldy green. It was a mix of about four or five different shades that I had left, so I couldn't repeat it. I have no idea, but it's pretty, it's quite pretty. So I thought I'd put that in and it's a metallic, so it will help give the rest of the work a nice glistening effect. So it looks quite pretty. So it's done in the um, chevron patterns which is like those V's. So I just thought I'd try something different on the layout of my particular canvas. Now for the gently tilting it, but because I want to keep the chevron shape. Um, it's not really going to work. You tilt in it, I guess. I suppose you just lose all the shape. Not that uh, it really makes any difference, I don't believe. So I'll have a think about that one. So I am now using the uh, Amsterdam Black with Australian Floetrol. This is perfect if you want to create cells without silicon so there's no silicon in my paints if you're looking for a recipe that it's in the description box in the drop down box below the video but that mix of just amsterdam paint i start off with 50 50 amsterdam paint and aussie flow troll and then add a bit more flow troll if needed it's still uh, quite good having quite a thick consistency um, in the swipe colour. I've just whizzed over it with my heat wand to 
burst any air bubbles and hopefully should help bring up some cells. Yeah, I've just turned it around so it's easier for me to swipe down towards myself. So let's see what we get. Oh, some really beautiful cells popped up straight away, straight away. Wow, so happy with that. I'll bring you down in a few seconds to give you a close up on those gorgeous effects because looking into this camera now, they do not show the actual gorgeous effects of those cells. It's beautiful. So just giving it a whiz over with the heat wand. Um, those that know me know that I prefer the heat wand to a butane torch. It's far safer um, and you don't have to keep gas at home or anything, so I like it. I just wanted to bring you down to look at those gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous bubble cells. Look at those, they've got the ring around the ring. The most vibrant colours, absolutely gorgeous. That was just swiping with the uh, Amsterdam black paint and Aussie Floetrol added. Just look at the kind of cells it creates. So those are particularly interesting. And I think I'd have loved to have done the actual swipe with just orange, lemon and red and maybe the purple because that's what's created those. But on with the pour I will go. So here we go in my balloon rolls and I'm going to actually do balloon slides and balloon kissing and balloon rolls. So this is my signature style that I absolutely love doing makes different effects. It, no two paintings are ever the same. Um, it's what I do love to do. So this was a perfect piece, a perfect pour to do this effect because I know that it brings up some really lovely 3D effects like your balloon work is floating with the outer space look behind. And as I just showed you, uh, the actual background of this is just full of those luscious cells. Just can't see them from this screen, um, but you can actually s see they're just beautiful. So I'm going to have some good old um, Jilly Balloon Art Magic Therapy for myself. So always stay true to yourself. Don't be bullied into doing a certain thing that somebody thinks you should do or you shouldn't do. Always be true to yourself and do whatever you like with your art. It's not up to anyone else, especially with art, to tell people what they should and shouldn't be doing. It's all good, these critics that stay, stay behind a keyboard criticising different um, artists' work, as I've seen of myself, comments on other artists, you know, keyboard warriors it's their artwork their rules their way um, and you can often find when you ask these people that tell you how to do or what you should and shouldn't do they've never done it themselves or they've done it very badly so you stay true to yourself people and do whatever you choose to do with your art do not be bullied because that's what your art is about your journey, not somebody trying to um, 
steal your thunder or steal your light from you. Just do what gives you joy in your heart. I'll stand down off my soapbox and let you enjoy this. Look, it's just absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with this one. And that's all it has to be about is your happiness and joy. Sometimes even if you don't feel joy or happiness with your own heart, stand back and look at it before you scrape it because there are lots of other people that have bought my art in the past that I thought, no, no, I don't like that personally, but other people do. So just, um, yeah, just, just do what your heart tells you is right. Now for just some mini balloon. This is just an ordinary balloon, but it's filled with a little bit of water. It just um, gives the center of your um, balloon kiss a, a, a nicer shape, a nicer form. But this paint is quite wet, so um, it sometimes is definitely better leaving your art to dry for a bit. If you're having trouble with your balloon kisses, leave your art, you know, maybe half an hour and come back to it and do your balloon kisses and they work a little bit better. Okay, super duper happy with this. Definitely balloon art is my favorite thing to create. The swipe with balloon kissing is just gorgeous. I'm going to let it definitely dry off a fair bit. And if it needs a little detailing going back in with the teeny tiny balloon, then I will do that. But those actual balloon slides created a gorgeous effect, like the floating above the below um, cells. Like it's just, yeah, create ooh, this way. Just a really vibrant, spacey kind of pour um, with the different effects in. Balloon kissing, the balloon sliding, a pour and a um, swipe. Absolutely gorgeous. Hope that you love this one as much as I do today. Um, I will be back tomorrow with something else that I will surprise you with, <laughs> no doubt. Alrighty, until tomorrow, please stay safe, people. If you're feeling sad, lonely, depressed, please ring a friend or absolutely ring a helpline. There is always someone there to help. You are never alone if you seek help. So wishing you all well and cheerio for now. Mm.